<sighs> what up folks, it's Alex here. Bit of a midweek madness for you today. I don't have a huge amount of time, so I'm trying to do this video as quickly as I can, hence the dodgy setup. If you're running DaVinci Resolve 16.2, there's actually a real quick, easy way that you can create Luma Fade transitions. In fact, you can create them in under 15 seconds. I bit my tongue. Ah. You can create them in under 15 seconds. Don't believe me? Three, two, one. Ooh. Told you. So let's open DaVinci Resolve and I'll talk you through the steps. So we're on the Edit tab in DaVinci Resolve and all we're going to do is open up our effects library, open up the toolbox, go to Video Transitions. Now we need to use a cross dissolve, but it's really important that you don't use this dissolve at the top. So you've got these dissolves here under Video Transitions. These are the default standard ones. You can't mess with these. You can't open them in Fusion. You can't do anything with it. So if I grab that one, right click you can see i can't open that in fusion i can't change anything it's not that one that you need what you need to do is scroll down and you should see this fusion transitions and hopefully at the top unless you've imported any others that alphabetically are before it so a b's etc you should see this cross dissolve drag that put it onto your project like so give it a click right click you can open in the fusion page and this is what the transitions look like in Fusion. So we've got Media in 2, Media in 1, these are the two clips coming in, and we've got the cross dissolve here. Now it looks a bit funny because it's in a group. All you need to do, you can double click to expand the group, or what I generally do is right click and ungroup, and it's a little bit easier to see. So you can see you've got the two clips coming in to the dissolve here like this. Give the dissolve a click, open up the inspector in the top right hand corner, and you'll see the settings or parameters for that dissolve. Now in the operation, you've got dissolve, give that a drop down, and there's lots of different options that you can use. Now the one we're looking for is a road. So if you give that a click, and then we'll just hit play, and you can see you've got this basic Luma Fade transition. And it's as easy as that. All we're doing is we're using the existing dissolve transition, changing it to a road to create a Luma Fade, and that's it. Then if we head back to the Edit tab, you can lengthen it, you can shorten it, you can do what you like to, to get it just right. And then if you right click, you can create a transition preset. So we can give this a name, Luma Fade, and click on OK. And then in the effects library, you need to scroll up until you see this section here called User. And then within there, you should see your Luma Fade transition. And now once it's done, you can just grab that Luma Fade, drag it onto your timeline, hit play, and there you go. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, any comments or feedback down below. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. There will still be the usual five minute Friday coming in a couple of days as well. Thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you next time. Bye.